Hello, in this problem we're going to try to find the exact value of this expression. So we should be able to do it using some identities. You'll notice there's a cosine squared and a minus, but it might not be something you recognize. So the trick is um, to recall that there is an, an identity that looks very similar to this one. It says if you have two cosine squared x minus one, that's the same thing as cosine 2x. So this, this is the same thing. This is uh, an identity from trigonometry. So here you see that you don't have a 2 and you have a 1 half. So what you can do is you can use this identity to come up with this. So let's go ahead and divide everything by 2 here. And then what happens is you end up with um, 2 cosine squared over 2 which is just going to be cosine squared x, I'll skip a step, minus, and then 1 over 2. And that's equal to, and I'm going to write this as 1 half cosine 2x. I did that pretty quickly, so let me explain it again. So basically, we're just dividing each piece by 2. So if you divide the first piece by 2, you get this. If you divide the negative 1 by 2, you get this. And then you divide this by 2. And remember, dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. So now all we have to do is plug in the pi over 8 into our new formula. So this is the cosine squared of pi over 8 minus 1 half, right? Just replacing x with pi over 8 so we can do this. And so this is equal to 1 half cosine of 2 times x. And our x here is pi over 8. So this is the key step. We're just applying this new identity which we created from this one. And then this is equal to 1 half cosine of pi all over 4. So this is equal to 1 half and then the cosine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2. So this is equal to the square root of 2 over and then 4. And that would be it. That would be the exact value. So I think the trickiest thing in this problem is knowing what identity to use. Um, but if you know this one right here, 2 cosine squared x minus 1 equals cosine 2x, um, then you can kind of say, hey, wait a minute, there's a minus, there's a number, there's a 2 missing, and there's a 1 half here, so it's almost there. Let me write this down and play with it, see if I can make it match this, and then apply it to pi over 8. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.